Hey guys, I'm doing a lot of something different today. I'm going to show you how I've made my meatloaf <clears throat> for 40 years. Never had anyone tell me they didn't like it. And uh, <clears throat> never had um, a bad report. Everyone always ate it all. So, okay, I start out with two, two pounds of ground beef, McCormick meatloaf. Has everything in there that you need. I put it in a plastic bag. Ritz crackers. meat tenderizer or whatever to smash it all up into small piece. Pretty much powder. There, that should be good. And uh, pour it on top of the meat. My hamburger. Okay. And at first, I set my uh, I use three fifty. Um, for my oven, I know different ovens are a little different, but okay, I use two eggs, and you can use one if you want to. I, I used to use one egg for many years, and I don't know why I started using two, but come on. Don't Oh, I knew you would do that. <laughs> That's all right. We'll fish it out. We don't need any anything extra crunchy in there. And it's a, I don't know, about a quarter cup. Two eggs is about a half a cup and I just fill it up to three quarters. Usually that's enough. I 
that some ovens might be 375, others 350, and I've just, all my life I've, 350 has been the norm for pretty much everything with me. So, I was trying to think, how long have I been making this meatloaf today? And I'm like, seriously, 40 years? 40 years I haven't been making the same meatloaf. <laughs> it's crazy how fast time flies. Okay. And I just cut some nice slices. ready to go. All right. Now, it's not over there like that. I'm gonna work this in. Well, okay, and then the egg and milk, pour that in there. hamburger is really lean so I put a little bit of fat Crisco actually on the bottom of my pan because um, it is real lean and <laughs> it actually has absolutely no fat come out of it when I make <clears throat> and I'm putting it in a bigger Pan because, uh, and I always like to use glass, my glass dishes, so, but, uh, ooh, that's cold. Um, using it because I'm going to put the, we're having sweet potatoes with it too tonight, so I want to put the sweet potatoes around it a little later once it's almost done cooking. Probably about 30 minutes in, because this will take about <clears throat> about an hour or so. So, and then I take my ketchup. And I have no idea how much I'm putting in here, but that's what I do. Just enough to give it a little extra flavor. And I guess <clears throat> my two secret ingredients <clears throat> is, a, is the crackers. And uh, I 
and the Heinz 57. It sets it apart from a lot of, I do not share this much with anyone. I think I just gave it to my son, I don't know, five, six years ago. Um, but I tell you, it is a hit. Everyone seems to love it. <clears throat> okay. And sometimes I put some fresh tomatoes chopped up in there too. But since uh, we uh, took the rest of our tomatoes to a friend and gave them to them, then I don't have any fresh tomatoes to put in here. But but this is the most I have, I mean, this is the way I make it most of the time. Once in a while, I'll have a little something different, but for the most part, this is my meatloaf. I just want to clean my hands off a little bit before I, uh, easy as that. You just put it in the oven, bake it for about an hour. I would watch it. it might take a, little, take a little less, might take a little longer, but there you go. And like I said, we're having sweet potatoes with it tonight. <laughs> a lot of times I'll make mashed potatoes and gravy um, thought maybe we might have some fresh green beans out of the garden, but I only got about a half a serving. So, um, that's, that's it for our dinner. Thanks for watching. Hope you try it sometime. Bye-bye. <laughs>